Audio Jungle. Nigeria for media yesterday. Okay. What was the point of uh, arrival? Uh, the flight plan was uh, to land uh, as destination uh, Benghazi, Benina, but unfortunately, and we got the approval from uh, the Libyan Civil Aviation of, uh, Authority that we are approved to land in Benghazi. But unfortunately, when we start descent, they asked us to divert to uh, Labrig, which is at uh, almost uh, 150 miles, that means 300 kilometers uh, around uh, uh, more far, but it's at the east. So it, was, uh, it wasn't uh, our, even our alternate, uh, something which is not good because uh, in aviation we have our flight plan, we calculate the fuel to our destination, so we have to avoid uh, this kind of thing because it may uh, uh, make a breach to uh, safety. And uh, when I insist to land in uh, Benghazi according to my flight plan and according to my authorization, they said no. Uh, it's uh, from the highest authority, you have to land in uh, Labrag, uh, Al-Baida. So, well, the, the Libyans are saying that it was your discretion to land in... Uh, no, 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 everything is, uh, is re registered. In aviation, we cannot, we cannot hide anything. So, I asked them several times, at least eight times, and I warned them, probably I will be in trouble uh, for uh, fuel. They said it's from highest authority. You cannot land in uh, Benghazi. You have to divert immediately to uh, Labrick. Thank God we uh, make it safely and we landed safe in uh, the other airport. In the event that your company is asked to provide evidence, Will you be able to avail? Yes, yes, yes. All the all the all the evidences are uh, are in uh, all is the documented in aviation. We cannot hide anything. This is our flight plan, uh, so we cannot say uh, something which not not wrong because there is a lot of cross check and a lot of redundancy in aviation. So they cannot. Uh, hide this information or uh, say uh, other than the truth. The truth was we was uh, going to uh, Benghazi I, and I can show you also the evidence of uh, the approval. I have it. Don't, 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 don't worry, don't yes. worry. So after that, they changed their mind and uh, at the last minute, they changed the airport. Even the uh, airport was not it's like a domestic airport. It's not, uh, it's not well equipped. There is no ILS, no air nav approach, no uh, VUR. So we make it visually uh, to be able to land because in case of go around, we cannot go anywhere. So it was uh, our first and last chance. And, and I heard that uh, you've been in that area before. That problem yes. Have to... yes. Uh, thank God, I worked there for two years uh, with a uh, uh, Tunisian company. So I know the area very well, and it was not an easy matter at all. Thank you very much, Professor. So, when a pilot will hear to me, he will he will understand that it was not an easy an easy thing to land by night, visual approach with marginal weather, without ALS, without air nav approach, and without VR. Thank you. Thank you. Thank God.
Ah, very horrific and very, very bad. Very bad experience. I, all my life in sports, active sports, even my playing days, I've never seen the kind of horrific exp uh, experience. Very terrible. Very, very terrible. I, I think I think uh, uh, CAF have to sanction the Libyan team and Libya FA. They need tough, tough and stiff sanction, and that is the only way this will stop. This is not the first time. The difference is uh, is happening to our country, uh, which is a very big affront to Nigerian nation. This I never believe it will ever happen in this way. And I don't know why they have chosen uh, to go this far. It's quite disgraceful. Uh, it's quite unfortunate. This trip, I wouldn't say it was okay, but uh, we thank God that we went and we came back safe. But it was a hostage situation. We spent 12 hours or close to 18 hours locked in a, in, a, in a conference hall without water, neither water, no food, no internet, no network, no communication whatsoever with anybody. And the, most, the highest disturbing thing was for us to communicate to our embassy people to tell us that they were not even given permission to come to Benghazi, talk less of coming to our own side. So we are left hopeless, we don't even know where to go, we cannot move out. When we intend to go out to even try and source things for ourselves, we are being blocked and the airport was locked, that we cannot go to anywhere. We have already lodged our complaint to CAF, and every little bit of information about the incident has been communicated to CAF. Then we wait and see and hear the result of uh, the disciplinary committee of CAF on the decision they are going to take. Not at this time you expect uh, a country to behave like that. We. We all know how football can unify the entire world. It's entertainment, you know. But for the Libyans to put off such act, it was very surprising for me. All through my active sports activity, active sport activity, I've never gone through this kind of torture and uh, pains that uh, these players and all of us went through. Uh, football is uh, a game of unity. Football brings everybody together. Uh, it's shocking to see a country treat another country, a national team of another country, the way the, the Libyan did. Late this afternoon, CAF also issued a statement, and, then, and then they used very strong words, unacceptable. They used strong words about you know, referring this matter to their, you know, you know, to, to their committee, you know, disciplinary committee, and they're going to investigate this and are going to take appropriate action in terms of whoever was responsible for this and the extent to which it has gone against the CAF regulations. I mean, I think that we're going to look forward to that with keen interest as a country and as a people. Audio jungle.